So hey guys, what's up? This is Lil G from St. Bernard. This is the 1993 Ford Ranger that I wound up having to get. Um, a few things that they were on. Looks like it has some new belts, new cables. I put a new battery in it. I had to get a new uh, a new cylinder for the brake master cylinder and the brake booster. But something locked up with the clutch, man, because the only reason I bought this truck is because it's a stick shift, as you can see. Now, I haven't owned a stick shift in, gee whiz, probably close to two decades. But that's the only reason I got it, because it's an old truck, and it's a stick shift, because you don't want no transmission trouble with an automatic on an old vehicle. But this thing is literally 27 years old. It's 1993, man. I mean, I was still riding bikes when this thing was when this thing was made. So anyway, it runs all right with a stick shift, but, I, but my, uh, my clutch started feeling you know real kind of spongy and it wasn't shifting right you know i was grinding in gears you know if anybody's familiar with a stick shift you know grind it till you find it well there comes a point where you you grind it so much that that, that it doesn't go in gear anymore and the clutch doesn't work it felt real spongy so what i did is i started looking up videos online i'm not a mechanic man this is probably the most easiest mechanical thing i ever did of a, of a serious problem for uh for this vehicle so check this out I bought this little kit right it's called a master cylinder bleeder kit all right even though that's right there that's for the uh, for the brakes this little reservoir right here is for the clutch okay so what it did is you open up the little kit and there's gonna be all kind of little fittings see all these little fittings you have to find the right one for your vehicle if you got a stick shift it's gonna come with two hoses what I did is, I took off the cap for the clutch reservoir, and I found the right fitting for mine. And I put this, I put this little, oh, here's a little cap, hold on, let me take this off. And I put this little fitting inside, it fits inside the tube going down to the clutch, okay? And I literally sucked it out by by mouth i sucked it out so have some uh through this in have some uh have some water maybe some mouthwash ready i got a little bit of brake uh, uh brake fluids clutch fluid same thing dot free dot three brake fluid i got a little bit in my mouth and i washed my mouth out but i literally sucked it out and I emptied it back in. If it comes up three quarters of the way, I emptied it back in. I sucked it out again. I emptied it back in. And then I went in, and my clutch was starting to feel hard. It wasn't spongy anymore. I just took it for a test drive. Man, I just fixed the clutch problem. It needed to be bled. It had air in the lines. But this is a little bitty kit. It cost about $12 from AutoZone. It's called a master cylinder kit. I'm sure they make different brands, different ones, different... Uh, Sure they sell them at Walmart or whatever too, but I got it for AutoZone for like 12 bucks. And I just fixed my, my clutch from shifting for my transmission on this old truck, man. It works perfect. Peace, Lil G from St. Bernard.